success for this project looks like so much more than just winning at the end of the semester. It's more about what we learn along the way. It's one thing to learn in class what you're supposed to do, but then what we're learning on Monday is directly applied Wednesday, and then we get to see how that relates to real world situations. This is a class you can put onto your resume. This is something that will make you stand out from other people who are applying for the same job as you. One of the reasons I love Jefferson so much is because we are given so many outsourced projects to do. Tenneco's partnered with Jefferson. They challenge us to create a new product with a specific material that they've invented and patented. And at the end of the project, if they pick it, they might patent that idea. You have the opportunity at the end of the project, if it's something you really believe in, even though let's say it didn't win, to go out and start that patent process for yourself. My team is made up of six students, two in industrial design, two in engineering, and two in business. Ashawn and Kyle are both amazing at market analysis. Lauren and Cassidy are fantastic at viability testing. And Isaac and I bring to the table our ability to rapid sketch and pump out concepts. I found it was actually really vital to work with a group of people from different disciplines and majors because not everyone thinks the same and having different perspectives is actually really important when trying to come up with a new idea. This year, Tenneco has given us the expandable braided substrate, which is a black monofilament that is fishnet braided into a tubular shape. Initially, we were just wondering what even is this? It kind of looks like a slinky when it's condensed in its form, and then when you pull it, it gets very thin. So the best way I can think of something that's similar would be, you know, a finger trap. When you pull your fingers, it gets tighter, but it, it like locks in. We just started playing with it. We started pulling it apart, cutting it, seeing and testing what it's able to do. Something that we found really fascinating about this product is its ability to easily bundle things. We were thinking what constantly needs to be quickly bundled together. We thought of toys. So we are currently working on a toy storage compartment. It is going to be a safe substitute for toy chess and also act as a learning tool for kids to learn responsibility. There hasn't been really any sort of evolution of the toy box. With that gap, we noticed we could really make a new toy box that hasn't been done yet. That brings up a lot of potential we have in the way that we can sell it because we're not competing directly with anybody else. The Tenneco project is a great example of Nexus Learning because it allows us to be hands-on with real-world clients. I'm grateful for the opportunity to work with a company such as Tenneco. It really taught me a lot about how businesses implement their products and what is important to focus on. I plan on using all of this experience and information that I've gained when I apply for jobs. We are bold. We think differently. It's really special that Jefferson celebrates innovation in all the different fields, medical, fashion, business, engineering, design, architecture. We are going to create those materials in 10 years that don't exist now. We are that next generation of creativity. We are creating the future. <laughs>